Our next lesson will be properties of real numbers. Our first property is the commutative property of addition. It means that if A and B is added, it can also be equal to B plus A. So illustrating this, this one, it means that even if the A and B that represents a number is interchanged, uh, it will still be equal. So let's take an example. Example 2 plus 3 will also be equal to 3 plus 2. Let's try. 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. They both have the same sum, which is 5. So even if I interchange 2 to 3 and 3 to 2, okay, the answer will still be 5. The next property is the commutative property of multiplication. Just like in addition, it means that if A times B is also equal to B times A. Let's take uh, an example like 2 times 3 is equal to 3 times 2. That's how you interpret it. So let's try to solve. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And 3 times 2 is equal to 6. So they have the same answer. Let's try another property of real numbers that is the associative property of addition it means that adding three numbers that is represented by a b and c the sum will be the same okay whether we find we try to find the sum of the first two numbers then add to the sum of the third number which is c or we try to find the sum of the last two numbers okay we try to find the this the sum of b and c then add it to the sum of the first number they will still have the same sums let's take an example 2 plus 3 plus 4 okay this is a grouping it will be equal to 2 plus 3 plus 4 so even if i interchange the grouping it will still have the same value let's try to solve 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 plus 4 will it be equal to 9 let's try the other side 2 plus 3 plus 4 is 7 so 2 plus 7 is also equal to 9 so they both have the same value okay another property is the associative property of multiplication it's all, it also states that even if we multiply the same number of groupings and then multiply to the third, it will still be the same. So B times C. Well, let's take a, an example. 2 times 3 times uh, 4. It will be equal to 2 times 3 times 4. Okay? So, 2 times 3 is equal to 6 times 4 is equal to 24. Let's try to see the other side if it, if it still has the same product. So, 2 times 12 Okay, 2 times 12 is also equal to 24. So, they both have the same product. 